Uh, yeah, we're talking about the fecal elastase test. Now, fecal elastase is just um, a concept that is just straight to the point. All right, so you get to see from the definition to the purpose, to the indications that this is conditions where you can actually do this test to diagnose and the rest about it. So fecal elastase test is a test that you are trying to what, measure the levels of what, elastase, which is a pancreatic enzyme, and try to measure the levels of this elastase in stool. Okay, it is a non-invasive diagnostic tool for pancreatic exocrine insufficiency. When you say pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, they are simply saying, um, you know, the pancreas actually produces some enzymes that act on some food um, components, like all those what um, I think lipase, trypsin, protease, and the rest of them. So if these enzymes are not being produced adequately, those foods that these enzymes are supposed to act on will not be properly acted on, okay? And probably the elastase is an, okay, do you understand? Like, there will be some complications that will appear in stool, all right? And this el fecal elastase test will help you dictate it, right? So let's go on. So purpose is you are trying to diagnose pancreatic exocrine insufficiency. You are trying to monitor pancreatic function. You are trying to evaluate malabsorption symptoms, right? Then you are also trying to dictate if there's a pancreatic damage, right? Indications. If the patient is having a chronic pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas that has gone on for a very long time without stopping. If there's um, cystic fibrosis, is this Swatchman diamond syndrome? If there's pancreatic surgery, if there's malabsorption, malabsorption syndrome, there's diarrhea, there's tectoria, okay? So the thing is, um, you actually get... This um, elastase enzyme, there's the normal levels of it that should be in stool. So if you find it elevated, that's why you are saying what? The test is positive, right? So you get the stool sample, so no dietary restrictions is needed, okay? No fasting is required. You now send the sample to the lab for analysis. So when the result comes back, what is the interpretation of the result? If you find it about what, um, 100 to 300 milligrams of elastase enzyme past two is normal. If you find it about what, um, okay, if it is reduced, okay, okay, you're actually looking at the reduced now, right? So if it is reducing, that's when there's any abnormality, okay? If you find about 50 to 99 is at the borderline. Then if there's pancreatic insufficiency, you find out the elastase enzyme levels is what? Below 50. Below 50 what? Micrograms. Okay. So that's it for fecal elastase test and um, why we actually do this test in the lab.